Hello. I am waiting until I know this is on. It looks like it's on. Let's have fun. I'm going to have to post this on the various social media, so give me a moment to get that done. We're going to go to Twitter first and Facebook next. Personal page as well. And that should do it. All right, let's uh, get started. Make sure the audio is working. It looks like it's working. Do. Cool. So thanks for tuning in. I'm John Breyer, KG4AKV, and this is the uh, second video on my satellite ground station build. If you haven't watched the first one and you're watching this after the live stream finished, you might want to go watch the first one first. Okay, so since the first one, what I've done, so basically January 12th uh, is when I released the first live stream, and then after that live stream, I ordered and researched a bunch of stuff. So I got a tripod, and this is the this is the tripod I ordered. Incidentally, they didn't send me this one. They sent me a better one. Um, you can see this one has one cross uh, support system here. The one they sent me was this one. And it's still the same height, so I'm actually quite happy with that. I'll show you a video of that later on. Actually, if you want, you can, um, you can see it behind me. I've got it here. I'll give you a preview. There it is. It's glory. That's just a preview, though, so you have to wait a second to see the rest of it. So I also ordered a mast, a five-foot um, aluminum mast. Uh, somebody told me to get a quarter-inch thick one to really have some strength to hold the uh, antennas and stuff, and I did some research and found this company which sells quarter-inch thick aluminum with the right um, outside diameter that would fit in the tripod. And I also ordered some pitch pads. Uh, these are the pitch pads. Actually, it looks a little different than that. But I, um, this, these screws are theoretically, um, you would use them to secure the tripod to the roof. However, I'm going to use bolts. So I just got this for these tar pads. Which basically, they go between the feet and the roof to seal it from, from having water get in there. So I'm trying to see if anybody's watching right now. It's hard to tell. Um, eight people. Cool. AJ5C, Bob's on. We got Renegade Show. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Alright, so I got the pitch pad. I got the mass. Another the really cool thing I ordered that day was the L-band antenna. So this is from Wymo. Wymo is a German company. This is the one I ordered right here. It's a helix, so it's uh, circularly polarized, um, which is ideal for satellite communications. It's got 11 decibels of gain, and that was really fun to get that. All right, so this is what I did on January 12th, right after I did that first live stream. I researched all night, and I bought this stuff. Um, on Sunday, the following Sunday, I researched what size ladder I needed, depending on um, how tall my roof is, and I found out I need a 28-foot extension ladder. So I went to Home Depot with my friend who had a pickup truck, and... He helped me transport that from uh, Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Back of a pickup truck. It's legal to be in the back of a pickup truck in North Carolina. It's good. That's my what? friend Matt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got so. a 10% discount on this because I was chatting with the guy that sold it to me. It got pretty cold here. So I had to go down low and turn off the camera. <laughs> okay, so we got back. Next time I'm gonna put it over here because then I can climb onto that lesser pitched roof. And also the, the ground here slopes up from down there. 
so it'll be uh, better to have it here. And yeah, it helps me feel safer and I'll have this room on the left side. Like right here, there's no room on the left side, so that's not as ideal. Cool. All right, I'm a little bit higher now. I, I'm not on this for where I am. Um, so I'm a little bit higher now than I was earlier. So it's Matt down there. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. How's it going? So right now I'm on the edge of this. Helpful. Radio room. That's my window to my office. Studio, radio room, there's coax going out there. So that's where the uh, that's where the antennas coaxial cables will be going. So Yeah, I'm not I'm not going on the roof today because it's raining. It's really not not safe to go on the roof. And I also want to have a um a rope so I can hold onto the rope as I climb up it. I don't have a rope yet. Okay, so Renegade shows give me some advice on sealing the roof. Let's go back to this. So I got the extension ladder. I got a 10% discount because I was friendly with the guy. Um, and on the 14th, a couple days after uh, the initial video, I talked to Bob Harrell, AJ5C. He had an M2 Leopec. Um, he saw my first video and was like, hey, if you want one, I have one. Make me an offer. So I made him an offer, and he... This is Bob. He's actually watching right now. Thanks, Bob. And he uh, gave me a, a decent deal. I made a, a fair offer, I believe, and he agreed. And um, he uh, sent it over to me. So here is uh, his QSL card for working Doug Wheelock in A1SS. Pretty cool. I hope to work him if he ever goes back up there. So that was the 14th. Um, I mailed the check for the Leo Peck on the 16th. Um, I got the tripod and pitch pads in the mail, as well as the mast. On the 17th, I ordered an advanced receiver research 70 centimeter preamp. And this is uh, advanced receiver research. And um, this is uh, the one that I ordered, the 432 part number. I actually already had one of these. I have the 144 version. And um, I got that for the Aris contact. So. That was uh, what I did on the 17th. On the 23rd, the L-band antenna arrived and had some kind of interesting thing happen here I want to show you. All right, this is my 1.2 gigahertz antenna. And this is how it came today in the mail. It actually was inside there, but apparently it got dropped on the corner and then the boom shot out this end. So I hope it's okay. Open it up. Okay, I'm gonna skip a little bit here. On <laughs> guard. All right, looks good to me. Um, from the in connector to the actual uh, so the act so that's the uh, L band antenna I actually tested it out um, the 27th here is me preparing to use it and actually this is after I tried to use it, it didn't work out I didn't make any contacts actually but I was able to get into the satellite. Other people told me they heard me, but I was having trouble hearing the satellite. So I didn't know that I actually got in. This is how I use it. So I'm going to try it again on Sunday and see if we can get in. But it's basically, it's working, which is great. So on the 29th, which was just a few days ago, the M2 Leo pack arrived. 
And that pretty much covers what I wanted to talk about for this first section. I think I'm going to stop now and come back because i got a bunch more stuff to do. I want to separate these things out. So that's what's happened up until today. And today I've done some stuff. And I'm going to start another video here in just a second. So I'll be right back, guys. And gals.